Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of The Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, the October issue of The Fisherman Magazine is due out this week and it's another awesome read covering all of your fall favorites. In addition to some glossy features on subjects like the impending 2018 recreational shark fishing measures, deep water chunking for stripers, and a look at blackfish behaviors, uh, we have some really great local features for you here in New England. On the freshwater side of things, there's a pair of really cool features uh, including targeting Connecticut River pike as well as Wachusett Reservoir Lake Trout. On the salty side of things we have a spotlight on fishing around Millstone Power Plant in the fall, uh, trolling eels from the kayak and also a great article on seeking big bluefish in the surf so be sure to give it a look today. All right, moving on into the reports. Uh, starting in Connecticut, there's some decent action of false albacore being landed inside Long Island Sound, but most of the action is still roughly taking place in the eastern half of the Sound. Unfortunately, the fish have already become quite finicky, I'm hearing, as fishing pressure on them has been extremely high. And while blackfish season doesn't reopen in Connecticut waters until October 10th, it's never too early to start thinking about TOG. Our friends over at Black Hall Outfitters have announced the annual TOG-tober tournament, which is set to take place the weekend of October 14th and 15th. They have some great prizes up for grabs with divisions for kayaks, big boat, as well as a special barbie rod division with proceeds going to benefit the Sound School. Check out all the details on this tournament at thefisherman.com. And over in Rhode Island, while uh, boaters pretty much lost a good chunk of last week to the storm, things have already begun to return to some sort of normalcy with good catches of scup, bluefish, and stripers inshore. Captain Brian of Big Game Fishing Rhode Island said the bite turned right back on this week uh, for his clients as they loaded up on bass and some monster bluefish right out the gates. Really the only fish I'm still waiting to hear come back to normal is cod fishing which uh, seems to take a little bit longer when a big storm rolls up the coast like we had last week. Now, I've got to remind you to keep in mind that black sea bass season remains closed in Rhode Island waters and will not uh, open uh, until October 22nd. At that time the bag limit will be seven fish per angler and will remain open through December 31st. Now I heard of a lot of sea bass caught this week as bycatch but they must be returned to the water as quickly and safely as possible if landed inside Rhode Island waters. And up in Massachusetts, I'm getting mixed reports from the canal and striped bass with some guys striking out while others are doing quite well. There was a 50 weighed in last week at Canal Bait and Tackle, which was landed on a mackerel colored Joe Bags Patriot fish jig, but that was really the only big fish I heard of lately. Methods of success have been kind of varied with fish being landed both by day and by night, and you know, all things really producing jigs, eels, top water, plugs, just about all of it. So, you really just got to happen across a good school of fish. And the tuna bite east of Chatham is coming back around after the storm as Fish Chatham Charters is back on the bite. They had a nice 60 incher on Monday's trip, and I've heard of some others in that size range and larger landed since then. All right, well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.